man, I suck at merging. So, it's not just cars that can be challenging to merge, even if you're as bad a driver as I am. The other challenge when it comes to merging is sometimes merging in the database when it comes to merging partitions. We have some problems when we're trying to compete with resources. To demonstrate what I mean by that, let's have a look at an example. I'm going to create a table called sales. It's got a timestamp as a date, an ID, which is just a primary key effectively, sales amount, and we've got a completed column. And what the completed column tells us is when that sale has been fully completed. So we log a sale and then we'll come back later and we'll record it as being completed. We're going to partition it into daily partitions. You can see that we've basically got five partitions, P1 through P5, and we're starting at the start of 2017. So there's our table. The next thing we're going to do now is insert a number of rows into that table uh, just using the standard connect by dual trick. And what we have there is we put in 1.2 million rows and we'll gather some stats on that table to populate all the stats at the partition level. And then as you can see, if we select the number of rows for each partition, we've got around about 300,000 rows in each partition. I'll create an index on that table on the ID column. Let's now simulate what happens in day-to-day -day activity. Some sales come in and we want to set some of those sales to be completed. So as we can see there, we've set the completed flag to Y for sales ID number 700,000. Now, what if I want to merge one of the older partitions? Well, I run my alter table sales merge partition and guess what? I get an error message. I can't actually get a lock because of that outstanding update. One of those IDs we've updated, 700,000, is in one of the partitions that we're trying to merge. Now you might be thinking, that's okay, what I'll do is I'll just do alter session set DDL lock timeout so I can let my merge partition command wait until all the transactions that are outstanding have been completed. So now I set my alter table sales merge partitions running and it doesn't fail, it just sits and waits. It's going to wait to try get a quiet period. So I commit my transaction and my merge partition command has now started. It's still working away in the background. That's still not ideal though because other transactions are coming along. If I turn on the timing and do update sales set completed for a different ID, you can see it's taking a long time to run. That's because he's now queued up behind the merge partition command. And if that runs for a long time, in this case it took around about 12 seconds, it's only when the merge partition finishes that that final transaction can then proceed and continue. That's a 12 second delay in an OLTP system. That's a big drama. So let's have a look now at 18C and see where we've improved things. Here I have my same update transaction, ID 700,000, an open transaction. I can now set my merge partition command going. I haven't set DDL lock timeout, it's set the default of zero, but I've got this new keyword, online. I want to be able to merge partitions online. It's now sitting there waiting. It'll wait for all transactions to finish. As you can see, this one finishes, and now it's off busily working. But the cool thing is it's not blocking anyone. I can do other transactions. You can see there, now the updates finish immediately. It hasn't blocked any new transactions from starting. Finally, when that transaction commits and all the work for merging has been done, my table is completed. So there you have it. Merging in 18C can be done online. That's pretty cool. Now, of course, you might be thinking, what's all this fuss about merging? I'll just set daily partitions and have daily partitions forever. What's the big drama? Why would I want to merge partitions? I think it opens up a whole swag of great new exciting opportunities when it comes to dealing with large amounts of data. Consider a table which has a lot of activity during today. Well, if I've got ad hoc query requirements, it might be, for example, I want to see information for the last hour. So as I'm busily working through this current hour, I want to run a lot of reporting to get KPIs on how I'm doing right now. I might have my table partitioned into hourly partitions. The cool thing there is I probably don't need a lot of extra indexing now because if I'm only scanning an hour's worth of data, I can pretty much do any ad hoc query I like and I'm only going to scan an hour and get my results. Of course, at the end of 24 hours, I've got 24 partitions and that's going to rapidly multiply. There's a possibility of polluting the data dictionary with thousands and thousands and millions of partitions. But now with Merge Partition Online in 18C, at the end of the day, I'll take those 24 hourly partitions and merge them into a single day partition. Queries for yesterday, which probably will scan the entire day, once again, aren't impacted by older information. I can scan just that day for the partition worth of data. And once again, ad hoc query probably don't need a lot more indexing to be done. And today's one can still be partitioned by hour. 
and this continues on. At the end of the week, I might choose to merge those daily petitions into a single week petition. So if I'm doing financial week reporting, once again, not a lot of indexing required because I'm scanning just the week of interest. And it continues on again. At the end of the month, I can merge them into a month petition. And of course, at the end of the year, I can now create a single year petition to hold all that historical data. And I can compress it, make it read only, and all those cool things I can do at the petition level. And the whole time I was doing this activity, I was actually doing it online because of Merge Partition Online in 18C. So there you have it, 18C Partition Merge Online. Don't think of it as just a maintenance operation. Think of all the exciting opportunities you have now to help query performance depending on time range information. Check out the 18C Merge Online Petition Demo on livesql.oracle.com. See you later.